You see, the thing about the pandemic and ash fall is that if you're paying attention, you could discover some talents that you didn't even know you had. They sat there after Winston and saying they had them falling out. The boy just staying true to his word, bring your friends to buy themselves. The people who ordered the small turn wrong and order a large after the taste it. It like a constant cloud ash around the house from the cars passing in and out. People are leaving for you to buy a little bun bun that left back in the steam pudding pan. It get to the point that if you didn't order, you didn't get in Cindy Sweet sauce. That's what they start calling them. People are leaving her down St. Lucy to come and get the sauce. Eventually, she had an aunt to my days just to satisfy she customers. And every day she met the sauce she sell out. Even that fella from off the radio start coming bug Cindy to buy the sauce. One day, Cindy sat down and count out her earnings from the week and realized that she done making more money in them three days than she ever done making at the hotel. But don't fool your foot. When some chicken business are taking off too, cause with how the supermarket lungs are wrapped around the building, now people they prefer to pay a little delivery fee and get the one break straight at them. And they're paying whatever we instant charge cause as I tell you, these are some lovely chickens that cook sweet. Lord have his mercy. Winston come by the house a few times to check for me and Cindy, but Cindy won't even come out the bedroom. But you know we ain't check for me? My children. Anywho, sent Cindy buddy out, he tack up lodging by Tracy house. But the funny thing is, whenever he come there, he just used to smell like chickens. Not musty, but like he did working. <coughs> he never bring cross the baby. <coughs> Or I say who the name but somebody who <coughs> was at the church <coughs> when the job question say that a girl and he and the mother name <coughs> Ashley cause she born it there the ash. <coughs> but all I tell myself is a good thing the child and born <coughs> Oh God <coughs> did the hurricane pass oh Lord <coughs> Oh yeah the child is sweet but she ain't look nothing like waste <coughs> Oh no them so that children that struck back but from what tell me, <coughs> the child more features Arlene's son from down Harrison Hill. <coughs> but I don't mind the body business. <coughs> <coughs> All I know is thanks daddy, she and Justin talk. Cindy, they're moving like something. They don't she mind. <coughs> we got up early one morning and went in the bank. Cindy says she finally had enough money to pay the bank people <coughs> to catch back up with the mortgage. <coughs> But when she get there, she didn't for a shock of she life. <coughs> Lord have his mercy, since this ash farting. <coughs> My son, this is to get irritated. Next customer to tell her number six. Good afternoon. Is this Dr. Boyce's office? This is Cindy Griffith. Yes, I'm running a little late for my appointment, but I should be there in the next half an hour or so. No, I had the test already. So just the results? Okay, no problem. See you soon. Aunt Marge, you know how much I just wish you could hear? Next customer to tell her number five. I would like to tell you both. Next customer to tell her number two. That's me. Coming back now. Come in. Good afternoon, how may I help? Hi. I wanted to know the balance on this mortgage account so I can bring it up to date. Certainly. One moment, please. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. This is my ID and this is Margaret Griffiths, the other name on the account. She's right over there. Thank you. Ma'am, it appears that account is paid up for the next two months. Next customer to but number three. I haven't been able to make a payment for the last three months. Well, according to our records, everything is paid up, so if it wasn't you, then clearly you have a good Samaritan looking out for you. Well, I still want to deposit this money on the account, just in case it's some kind of mistake. Also, can I have a printout showing my updated balance? Certainly. By the way, you don't happen to be the same Cindy from Cindy Sweet Cells? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. I had a feeling, girl. I was even telling my family overseas about that sauce and now they can't wait to try it when they get here. That sauce is the best sauce I ever taste. Jeff, this is the woman who just make the sauce I was telling you about. Girl, 
That South is the bomb and a half. Here you go. I will see you on Saturday when I come to pick up my South. When the word spread in the bank, that it was Cindy from Cindy Sweet South. <coughs> <laughs> yes, you see how the people start to treat you like she's a celebrity. Seeing the hats, wearing them real plug and smiling all oh, at one end through she <coughs> Is that if it is not for the little ash fall, she would have never get that little business off the ground. <coughs> oh, she went to the doctor, seeing the rattling all that she sell about <coughs> all the things she could do to make she business better. And then it hit she. She cried on my son all days for years. <coughs> Cause she did she didn't want <coughs> no man who dealing with like stuff and the boy to laugh at she <coughs> And now look 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 how she could see the benefits if she did give Winston dreams a chance. <coughs> it crossed your mind that it might have been Winston that paid she bills. But <coughs> she know that if he did do that, <coughs> he would have been flat bro. So the only body that the make it sense was Justin. So she called and invited you over for dinner to thank you. And you know you just want any excuse to drop on the Cindy. She did not turn off his door when he turned up. <laughs> I did always like you, you know. Nice boy. Ah, uh, so specialist. What going on? Aunt Marge, everybody good? Justin, we good. But you right to make sport at me. People only buy souls cause them know you. My girl, let me tell you something. Bajans don't make sport when it comes to themselves. So if them buying it, you best believe that you hang good. You hear what I tell you? Thanks, Justin. But I want to ask you a question. You know you can ask me anything. Never mind, you don't ever ask me what I want you to ask me. At least not no more. Justin, you can't behave. Anyhow. When you did over by my house that day, you didn't happen to see the letters from the bank, right? Cindy, I see the letters there on the table. But I just see them and I see them. Because they didn't have nothing to do with me. I hope you ain't calling me to ask to borrow money. Because my father tell me every since that you don't ever lend money to friends. Nah, Justin. I just wanted to know if you did pay any money to the bank for the mortgage. Who, me? Nah. I don't live here. But you always telling me how you want to deal with me. But if I didn't need, you wouldn't help me out? If you did, my girl, trust that you wouldn't laugh for nothing. But I ain't stupid enough to spend my money on somebody that I ain't dealing with. When you get pregnant, I thought that I finally had my chance. But then you get rid of it, and I ain't even had to say it. I put in the work all day, Cindy. But in the end, you still keep choosing he over me. I could clear off your bills tomorrow, but I ain't doing it for no other man woman. At least I know now how you really feel. Cindy, it ain't a secret the way I feel about you. I did love you from the time I was a little man. And if you tell me you're ready to be my girl today, trust and believe that you wouldn't have a thing to worry about. But as much as I love you, I ain't got no intention of supporting a woman that who I ain't dealing with. I glad I get to see the real you though, Justin. But I don't understand what you getting on so. Why I really tell you that's so bad? Just because my family got a little change don't mean that I just want to spend it for the sake of spending. I take care of my own. And you know it too. Like you know I would have taken care of me baby if you didn't make your decision. Justin, that was a mistake and you know it too. Plus, who tell you the child did yours? Wait, you? You were superstar all these years. And he shooting blanks on top of blanks. And only when we had we little thing, a baby get in the mix. And you think that's just a coincidence? Cindy, you's a smart girl. I will talk to you later, Justin. I, I need some time alone to think. I know it might sound a little hard, but there ain't nothing wrong with what I'm telling you. I could take care of you and your aunt. But I'm telling you straight. It got to be something for something. For real. I know last time you'd feel guilty because of what you do to homeboy. But now he out the picture, we could pick up where we left off. Oh, you never looked down when Justin. <coughs> but you know how when you're watching a movie, you don't hear nothing at all, and then all of a sudden you hear a door close, <coughs> and a vehicle drive off? That's exactly what happened next. And Cindy would know the sound of that truck in the way. <coughs> Don't she get up? We send it long gone and 
and all send the courtesy with a big ignorant cloud of ass left in the driveway. <coughs> and you know, like, funny, funny like that. <coughs> Just when she realized that she still got feelings for Winston, <coughs> it's the same moment that Winston realized he ain't want nothing more to do with Cindy. <coughs> All along he living at Tracy and never once lay a finger upon she and would do one or two things for the baby. But he never really let her get attached. <coughs> but after today, <coughs> he decided he can finally try to make it work with her. <coughs> the problem is, Cindy determined now more than ever that she getting back she man. <coughs> I wonder, I wonder how this gonna work out. Ashes to Ashes is a production of the National Cultural Foundation.